From the Allen Media Worldwide Headquarter Studios high atop two Turtle Creek, this is Deconstructing Dallas. Greetings, everyone. This is your host, Ryan Trimble, looking out upon the sunny, sunny Dallas landscape. Joined today by the always springy Sean Williams. Sean, good day, sir. Spring is in the air, Ryan Trimble. Spring is in the air. The sun is shining. I'm feeling pretty, pretty good today. <laughs> well, you look like you have a spring in your step, sir. I'm ready to roll, man. It has been... Um, we've had a good run this year on podcast, man. The John Killen episode is really killing, killing it. it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, so that's, that's doing really well. And, man, we've been busy. I mean... Um, I have to give a shout out to Southern Dallas Magazine, who had a feature article on our client, Lynn McBee, uh, with entitled Lynn McBee believes she should be the next mayor of Dallas. And I know one of the reasons you like that headline is because it has an exclamation mark at the end. These are my people, Southern Dallas uh, Magazine, using lots of exclamation points. I like that. As a former head cheerleader, Sean, you know I'm always uh, peppy. And I know what? you're excited. And you're you're not ashamed or afraid to put an exclamation mark in a text message either. I'm I not. I, I like proper grammar in text messages, and I like to relay my excitement. Well, speaking of clients, we've got um, a bill to talk about from one of our clients. Uh, Morgan Meyer has a really interesting bill uh, that he is um, working on down in Austin. Yeah, this is a it, it's really interesting. It came about. This is House Bill 2789. Representative Meyer just filed it. Uh, the bill would criminalize uh yeah, the incidence of lewd photos, so um, texting pictures of yourself naked to uh, somebody uh, in an unsolicited fashion, uh, it would be a uh, uh, Class C misdemeanor at this point. This is a growing problem, and it's interesting. The CEO of uh, the female-driven uh, relationship app, Bumble, a uh, lady named Whitney Wolf Hurd, also an SMU grad. Thank you. There's the touch. Yep. Uh, Miss Miss Heard worked with Representative Meyer and his staff to craft this bill. Uh, it it was filed uh, into last week, and so uh, it's it's moving through the through the uh, the process right now. But uh, you know, hats off to Representative Meyer. This is uh, you know, as as a father of a daughter, I want to see stuff like this cleaned up. And uh, you know, come on, guys, uh, guys and gals, let's. Uh, you know, let's be thoughtful before we hit send on stuff like this. Yeah, I really didn't realize how big of a problem this was, how prevalent this was, how many individuals out there are sending unsolicited pictures of themselves, unsolicited nude photos of themselves yeah. to um, to individuals who don't want it, don't want to see it, yeah. didn't ask for it. And so I think that this is a move in the right direction to address this and hopefully deter those folks who, who've seen this as just a, a way to, to to get laughs or uh, really it's just an intimidation. It's it's a, it is something that we need to put a stop when to. It's a, yeah, unsolicited, I mean, you know, let's uh, – Let's let's put an end to that. So, um, good luck to Representative Meyer. We look forward to. I believe SMU is working on a on a having a program on campus to to discuss it, and so hopefully that'll be a good platform to uh, uh, you know spread the word about the bill and and gain some momentum for it. And we can keep everyone up to speed on the progress of this bill. That's right. That's right. It was a. Really good day for clients. Yesterday on Good Morning Texas, we had two clients that were featured. Our own Kristen Welsh was at Trinity Groves as Beto and Son was featured. And then I was in studio as Jay McGarry interviewed Phil Romano in studio. And he had an opportunity to talk about his book, his new book, The Mad Entrepreneur. Mad standing for Making a Difference. And so that was a really exciting day. We had back-to-back hits for our clients on Good Morning Texas, and it was a fun morning. Let me just uh, give a tip of the cap to the great Kristen Welsh. That lady is one of the greatest professionals I've ever met. She is completely unassuming, super nice, but, man, she is a great PR professional. And we are very fortunate to have her on our team. That's right. And really guiding us and leading us to get all the promotions for all of our clients. And, again, to have two back-to-back on the same show like that, hats off again to Kristen. And hats off to you, sir. Well, you know, I did have, uh, you know, I'm always looking for the good selfie 
opportunity. So I did get a good <laughs> one yesterday. And with the Good Morning Texas sign behind me, you can check me out on Instagram, Sean P. Williams. Let me know what you think about that. But it was fun. It was, my, it was only my second time in the Victory Park studio down there. And they have a really, really cool operation. And one of the interesting things that happened was we spoke with a security guard because one of the things, and we'll be doing more about Phil Romano and his book. Uh, I can I guess we can kind of tease that in the coming weeks. But one of the big investments that, that Phil made was in the stint, the heart stint. And one of the security guards there um, was really eager to meet Phil because he himself 10 years ago had to have a stint put in uh, to relieve um, some some problems that he'd had with his heart and was really excited to meet Phil. So it was a great morning uh, down at Victory Park, a little rainy, but we got it in and it was fun. That's great work. One more WFAA note. Big shout out to Sonia Assad, the health and uh, wellness reporter from from Channel 8 WFAA. She came out and uh, she supported and is, is crafting the story along with Vision storyteller Robin Carter the story of Melly's monster cookies Sean it's a it's a it's a t- couple of local moms that are lifelong friends uh, they've got a cookie recipe and thanks to our client Walmart uh, they're going nationwide in 4,000 Walmart stores across the country so uh, thank you Sonia and Robin for coming out and uh, that story is going to be up soon so big week uh, with WFAA here locally uh, here for our our clients so You know, onward, Sean. The sky's the limit. Onward and onward to our interview this week. We had a really good friend of ours, another SMU tie, I have to say, uh, with Ken Malcolmson, president and CEO of the North Dallas Chamber of Commerce. And Ken is coming in to talk to us about, you know, all the wonderful things that the chamber is doing there. We have some really good relationships, whether it be with the Dallas Regional Chamber, the Oak Cliff Chamber. But I have to say that um, it's been great watching Ken in this role, this new role someone we've known a long time and to talk about where he's taken the, the North Dallas Chamber. I've always liked uh, going to the North Dallas Chamber. I think it's it's been a great lo- uh, long-standing chamber, uh, had some great leadership, but man, Ken Malcolmson, my good friend Ken, has really uh, breathed new life into the organization. He's got a new building, a new logo. He's got a bunch of new stuff up there, Sean, and so he's doing big things and uh, excited to jump right into this interview. Well, let's do just that. Let's take a quick break. And let's talk with Ken Malcolmson right after this. This is Sean Williams, Ryan Trimble, Deconstructing Dallas. We'll be right back. You know what they say, variety is the spice of life. And if you're looking for spicy, look no further than effing hot salsas. Hey friends, it's your old pal RT here. And take it from me, if you're looking for the best variety of salsas, jellies, and other fiery concoctions, look no further than FN Hot Salsa. FN Hot is created with the finest peppers and hand-selected ingredients. And what's even better, FN Hot is based right here in Dallas. And if my recommendation isn't enough, get this. FN Hot donates 5% of their annual profits to the Special Operations Warrior Foundation. So what are you waiting for? Get to the store and pick up your own jar of effing hot salsa today. It'll make you say, that's effing hot. Welcome back to Deconstructing Dallas. Ryan Trimble, Sean Williams. Sean, I'm super fired up today. We've got one of my favorite guys coming on the show. He is Ken Malcolmson, the president and CEO of the North Dallas Chamber. Ken, thanks for coming on. Hey, I'm really glad to be here, Ryan and Sean. Looking forward to this conversation. Well, Sean, I usually see Ken when he's in a really, really sporty red blazer <laughs> patrolling the halls of Moody Coliseum pr- pregame, uh, halftime. Oh, yes. uh, he is a, a dedicated pony. There's always a pony angle in our show. I know. So. There seems to be, this year, there seems to be the theme. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I might need to see if I can 
we, get an ag year. You need to get an ag year or two. That's on me. But uh, Ken, thanks again for coming on. How's everything at the North Dallas Chamber? Tell you've got a new building, you've got a new logo over the past year or so. How's everything going? You know, you you use the key word there, Ryan, and that's new. Mm-hmm. I mean, we we're trying to portray ourselves as new and fresh and different. Um, we're not your grandfather's Oldsmobile. <laughs> um, so I I came to the chamber about a year and a half ago, and uh, we have such a rich legacy, a rich history of doing really great things in this community. Uh, 65 years worth, by the way. and um, But it's gone to a different level with uh, a new leadership team. It includes uh, Jeff Kittner, who I know Ryan and Sean know very well. Um, and Jeff has been uh, fantastic in terms of helping us grow our presence in the marketplace. Um, really, in the public advocacy front, government relations area, we really have established relationships with all of the North Texas delegation of legislators as well as city councilmen, and um, we really just feel like we're making a significant impact. And that's led to a very rich calendar of programming that we have going on right now uh, that I'd love to tell you more about. So when we get feedback, in from our listeners, a lot of times, you know, Ryan and I just like to jump right in because a lot of our guests have been very friends of ours that we know very well and we're excited to talk to you. But then they want us to walk back some. So, you know, here in Dallas, we've got the North Dallas Chamber, Oak Cliff Chamber, we've got the Southeast Dallas Chamber. You know, why are these local chambers important? Why is it important to North Dallas or in any of these other communities to have a Chamber of Commerce working on their behalf? Yeah, instead of just the Dallas, you know, the, the big, you know, conglomerate, uh, chamber in town. Sure. So, well, there's a, there's a lot of question in there, Sean. So let me let me respond with an anecdote, a little bit of an anecdote, and say that. Well, first of all, one of the questions I get posed all the time to me is is how do we distinguish ourselves from the Dallas Regional Chamber? And by the way, I have the privilege of serving on the board of the Dallas Regional Chamber as well, and it's an incredible organization. I've served on that board in the past. That's how I met you life. was through that relationship. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Sean. And um, so I have great respect uh, for the Dallas Regional Chamber. The difference, though, is that the Dallas Regional Chamber is focused on the region, while all of the other chambers that you've mentioned, um, six of which are geographic chambers, and then we have another uh, four or five affinity slash ethnic chambers um, that also serve the the people of the city of Dallas. Um, So it is pretty uh, distinguished in terms of geography or ethnicity in terms of how the chambers operate. But but the other thing that differentiates us is that most of us have seeded true economic development, that meaning attracting companies to the area as well as attracting talent. Um, We've really kind of seeded that to the Dallas Regional Chamber, with few exceptions. There are certain areas where we all have specific focus. But that's kind of the distinguishing factor. We all have specific geographies or ethnic bases of members, and we're there to serve our members to help you know, make Dallas a better place to live, work, play, and uh, raise a family and build a business. And that's how the chambers operate. We have a very strong pro business perspective business agendas, particularly when it comes to issues relative to public advocacy and our programming. Um, we also all provide networking opportunities for our members. So that's, in effect, what we do, and that's not very different. Th- that doesn't vary much from chamber to chamber. Now, I will say, and I'm sorry, Sean, I'll, I'll go back and, and go a little bit more, sp- a little bit deeper, and that is... We're working at the North Dallas Chamber. We're working very diligently not to have that name North, that word North, dominate our our uh, mission. And so we've worked very diligently in trying to think of ourselves as as what happens in North Dallas is critically important, um, but it's just as important as what happens in all sectors of the city. We have to rise all tides here. And um, so we've worked very hard on that, and I'll give you a quick example. Uh, We just recently did a leadership briefing that paired Casey Thomas, City Councilman Casey Thomas, with City Councilman Lee Kleiman. Casey got up 
in front of a packed house in our brand new building. Ryan, thank you for mentioning that. Um, and came, got up and made a, 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 gave us a, a perspective on all of the great economic de- uh, development that's occurring in the southern sector. And it was a it was an eye opener for a lot of the people in that audience. Um, now he sat down, and then Lee got up, 